Hello, welcome. I'm taking this intro video from the apple trees in my front yard because yesterday we were out at Ordeon Point and uh, the guys over at T in Valhalla had uh, mentioned issues that they were having with the GoPro 9 and of course I had to jinx myself and I was like, oh, we've never had any issues with it. And then of course, after the hike that we had done previously, which was up to Kinsman Pond, we our, our 64 gig card got maxed out. So we went out, we were like, all right, let's go get a 128 and uh, instantly started having issues with it. And it's playing up a little bit today, so I'm, I'm taking this video to see if it's any better. But uh, this is meant to be an intro for the uh, the walk that we did yesterday over at Ordeon Point. Uh, I have to replace the first clip, which was the intro for it. We do a lot of shots uh, and shoots up in the mountains as we're hiking around up there. In New Hampshire, there's a little bit more than just mountains. We've got a we've got a lakes region. We also have a very small sea coast. Uh, it's about 19 miles. I have not fact checked this, but I'm pretty sure that of any place in the U.S. that has a coastline, I think ours is the shortest. That's where we were at yesterday. Uh, it was nowhere near as nice a day as it is out today. But uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll show you around the uh, some of our sea coast a little bit. In World War II, it played part as a as a coastal battery. So there are some things left over from that, but there's also some old roads and things back from the 1800s when it was a homestead that was owned by a family, uh, which it's named after, the Ordeon family. So we'll show you around there a little bit. You can uh, see what there is to see and, you know, hey, let us know if you got any questions, okay? Let's get it going. One thing we try to avoid here is the seaweed on the rocks. It can be awfully slippery, or it can hide something underneath that isn't a rock, not like a sea monster or anything, but just generally when we're walking along the coastline here, it's very rocky and you want to stay on the rocks as much as possible so you don't slip and break your neck. low like this. We've got a lot of these little tide pools in here. There's tiny little shrimp zipping around in there, some snails. If we pop over a rock or two, we might find a crab kind of hiding out in here.
there's a deer right ahead. What? There's more? Oh, there's other deer. Oh, yeah. Four. One, two. So the four, and there's two. There's people crackling in the bush. sees that because he's brown and blending right in with that brush there. Good eye. Who saw the bunny? Mummy? Oh, he's going a little bit deeper in the brush. This hill behind me is not actually a real hill. As you can see up here, and I'm trying to be a little quiet because we're running into a lot of animals out here and I don't want to scare them off. But if you look up here, that is an old World War II coastal battery. The gun's long gone. And there's a bunker that's built all underneath this hill behind me. So there's two of these. So there's one on this end of the hill and then there's an identical one on the other end. So you can see here on the ground what's left of the metal track. There could be a huge gun here. I don't know what size they were. Possibly 16 inches. And then if you look all around us you can see all the iron brackets and eye holes and the chains and cables so that they could rotate the gun were in the side. And then they've had a lot of trouble over the years of people Hello. breaking through the iron doors they've used to close off the bunkers here. So they've moved massive granite blocks in front of them to keep people out of here. Um, can't really see I'm trying to get my light going here, but just empty bunkers that have garbage. Yeah. Just garbage. People have come in and I see soda can. Yeah. Actually the camera's picking up more than I can see. But That's what's in there now, but yeah, so, you know, people have gone in there and kind of partied and probably, I don't know, done drugs or something. Would you like to climb yeah. up here? That's why they're keeping folks up. Can we give you a high You can see above. Battery semen is still legible. I'm no expert on bunker construction, but I suspect that these were for ventilation. They're all stopped up now, but if the bunkers were closed up, I imagine that's how they got the air into them. The old machine gun nest.
before this place was Fort See Dearborn, mine? it was owned by a family for quite some time, and we're in a part of it where there's a lot of old pieces of the property, and I think this is probably one of them. It's an old fountain. Because it's like a little fish. See, you can see the fish here. And this is, there's like a hole there. That's where the water would have poured out. Into a basin here, which is long gone. And this is for the water to get sucked back in so that it could get poured back out the fish. And there's a place here for people to like sit and take care. There might have been a garden here at some point. Who knows how old this is? It's got concrete in it, so it can't be that old. Oh, I see something! Right here! Yeah, and here's the piping. We have left Ordeon Point. We've come to a special place, which is like a 30 second drive from there. On Google Maps, they call it Periwinkle Point, but people come here to stack rocks. So when we're in the area, we come over and we make a rock stack. At some point, at some time, somebody came here to stack some rocks, and then somebody else came here, and they stacked some more. And people do come periodically, but if you come here, Gather up some rocks. And you stack them. That concludes our little trip out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. From here, down the coast, Hampton Beach and Rye Beach are down a little ways. If beaches are your thing, they've got that. And then this whole road here, Route 1A, uh, which I'm not set up for really filming uh, while driving the car yet. So we're not gonna show that to you today, but that's a pretty cool, uh, that's a pretty cool drive. It's one of the best scenic drives around here goes all along the ocean so you can see out for miles but thank you guys for joining us out here today nice easy one no big challenges or drama but still an interesting and cool place to visit out here on the sea coast to tell you what a new england weather day just overcast on the ocean and it's always windy here but it's what it is Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.